can we use light source as a fuel so that we can achieve the speed of light? Well, there is something called radiation pressure. So just as you, if if I if I punch my fist into my into my into my palm, it's going to impart a force on my palm. The same way, the light that hits, that's hitting my palm, my palm also does exert, exert an actual pressure on on my palm. So there is something called a light sail, which can hypothetically be used to accelerate objects to a significant portion percentage of the speed of light. A light sail is something that uses the pressure of light itself. So you have a very thin and very uh, very light reflective sail kind of object, which is usually made up of some kind of metal. And if you were to focus laser beams on it, then the pressure that this laser beam imparts on the light sail can very quickly accelerate that, that light sail to maybe 10 or 20% of the speed of light. So that is a technology that could be uh, achieve, achievable in the next 10 or 15 years. So there is a project that is right now ongoing that could possibly achieve this in the next decade or maximum two decades. But can it? Uh, can we achieve the speed of life, light itself? No. There is nothing that can achieve the speed of light. Uh, the faster you go, the more massive the object becomes. That is called... Uh, so that, that, is, uh, that is the thing about uh, relativity. That the faster a mass travels, the more massive it gets. And that is why it is impossible to achieve the speed of light because you would the, the mass would basically become infinite. So there is nothing that can conceivably, according to the laws of physics, accelerate an object to the speed of light. But light sails can theoretically achieve 20 or even 30% of the speed of light. So that is the best we can do within the laws of physics as we understand them as of today.